everybody, Colleen and Belle, <laughs> the sister to Taco. Taco is the one that looks more like the Taco Bell dog, and then Belly almost looks like she could be part pug, but um, because her little mask on her face. All right, so don't you like how my three recent vlogs are all with the same darn shirt, but different dogs? <laughs> um, yeah. So all right. I just figure when I do have a chance to vlog, I gotta like knock these out, and I guess I could do the whole like TV thing and change my shirt for each shot, but ugh, you guys know me, it's okay. You'll love me anyway, I'm, ki I'm kidding. All right, all right, so I'm always asked different things about you know what supplements help for what and what I take and all that dealio. So let's see if I can get this knocked out. All right, so the very first one, um, of course some of these I was already on, um, prior to even knowing about HCG, because like I confessed in one of my other vlogs, I am a supplement holic, supplemental holic. Anyway, I love supplements. Um, I've loved them for a long time. So, um, and I'm not gonna stop. So anyway, um, so one thing that I saw on a um, HCG forum, uh, and this was like right, but I was brand spanking new to HCG. And so um, people were talking about uh, what they do if they have uh, cravings, especially sugar cravings. And what they said was, and uh, just to back up with my history, the very first week on HCG for me, um, I did not experience the instantaneous, instantaneous no hunger feeling. It took me a good portion of that first week really feeling hungry before I suddenly at the end of that week, I think it was during the afternoon, I went to do something I can't remember I was at work and I just thought to myself wait a minute I don't care about food maybe this is what they're talking about so that's what was my uh, aha moment so once I had that kick in um, I didn't have to worry about uh, using this little trick uh, very often at all like basically I've had this same bottle since um, I started my HCG journey back in January 10 uh, 2010, January 17th, 2010. Okay, so, uh, but here it is. It's L-glutamine, and basically what was um, recommended, <laughs> Billy, you're so excited about this, um, was to take the capsule, because it's a capsule that you can pull apart, and basically just dump it under your tongue and just let it sit there. And what's interesting is when I have used it, and usually I use it a lot of times more when I'm not doing HCG than when I, I am, but I'm trying to like, do a, like a day fast or something. Um, it'll really, all of a sudden, you because you, you'll like maybe feel like you're craving something and then you do that little trick and the next thing you know, you're kind of like going about your day and then you're realizing, you know, that, that gnawing craving sensation I was having before that isn't there anymore. And then you remember, oh yeah, I used that trick and that worked. So there's that. And then another thing I heard about for cravings, and again, I, I'd never used this when I was on HCG, but since being on maintenance, I'll use it so ever so often. Um, because I eat really clean during the week, and ever so often at work, because my coworkers, um, they basically make sure that there's constant chocolate within the walls of our office. Um, and I'm usually pretty good as far as not, you know, caring at all about it. But, you know, we again, we're human. We all have our days. We all have our moments. We all have, you know, we, we just have what we have as far as feeling. We have feelings. <laughs> wow, what a concept. Um, so I got this, and this is uh, Caraluma herb, and this is supposed to help with cravings. So again, if I feel like maybe I'm going to have a day where there might be a little bit more temptation, I guess you could say, going around, on around me, um, I'll pop one of these with my batch of other supplements just to kind of as a little safeguard. Um, and I think it helps kind of curve that wanting of something. Um, but definitely if you're having like a full-blown craving, especially if it's sugar, I'd say that L-glutamine is um, the definite trick for you. The next thing as I was on my HCG journey that uh, an another uh, HCG vlogger at the time talked about and then it was kind of like mulling over between HCG years if that really should be something that should be used on P2 or not because 
these two supplements are basically oil based because they're like in a, a gel capsule and I'm sure if you were to poke open that gel capsule and squeeze out it would be very much like um, it would be very much like vitamin E oil consistency so it's an oil and if you're on P2 and you're supposed to stay away from oils I could see where you'd say I don't think I should do that so those of you that are virgins <laughs> P2 virgins um, you know you have to make your own choice and you have to weigh out your options and see if it's really something you want to do. And if you don't want to do it, more power to you. And that's totally fine and good and cool. Okay, but it was this combination. It is um, GLA. And, see, and you see there, it even says the word oils because it says borage seed oil. This one is not as easy to find in your regular old either drugstore or health food store for the most part. I get it online and again I'll make sure that I have um, a link to my blog, webs blog website so that it makes it easier for you if you want to just kind of click through and get stuff. Um, and CLA. Okay, so I have used different brands of this CLA so don't feel like you've got to be locked into the Swanson brand. Um, but I take these in combination and uh, this one like is a thousand milligrams and let's see what the other one was just if you're case you're wondering this one is oh it's not telling me oh, here we go hold on hold on everybody stop the presses let me see if i can figure out what the milligrams are hmm hard to tell okay i guess i'll have to get back to you on that one so i'm not seeing it which is really odd because i'm seeing uh milligrams of the breakdown of it because um, it looks like as far as the actual uh, GLA it's 300 milligrams but they have a, actually a linoleic acid in it also so um, anyway so that, that's that but uh, the reason why I started using that was because the HCG or at the time was uh, hitting um, stalls and um, or slow releases kind of there were a couple different people that were in that situation and once they incorporated those two supplements their releases became very very consistent and very solid so um, that's why they had incorporated it so that's why I thought I'd try it so I, but since that time there's just a lot of benefits to those two supplements which is why I still go ahead and keep taking them so then the next thing is that um, and I just spoke of this on my other blog, but I'll just touch on it really lightly because uh, you can go to that blog if you want the whole hair story. But if any of you uh, want to make sure you are on hair care, hair supplement, supplement care products during HCG, the um, hair, skin, and nails uh, combo uh, vitamin that I take, and though it's stinky, yes, that's right, it somewhat smells, um, this one, uh, out of all the ones I've tried, this one does seem to um, have a real good effect, uh, not only with sus sustenance of your hair, um, health, and also um, increase of growth. Um, and then additional biotin, and I think, I think biotin and MSM is something that everybody, here, since I am talking about supplements, and this is part of my skin recipe, but I go ahead and I also swig this because of the skin tightening uh, benefits. So I think between biotin and MSM, if I had it to do all over again, I've told you guys this, whatever you have asked, and even when you don't ask, is that if I knew about MSM, and especially the liquid form, not the pill form, um, I would have taken that and biotin consistently from day one of my HCG journey. Because I think that that would have made a huge difference in my skin being able to play catch up or stay stay caught up with um, the releases that we experience with um, HCG and then this is my newest product that I've been trying uh, via a recommendation from another HCG -er. and this is the BioSale this is the one that um, in my other blog I had mentioned that not only does it have the benefits for your hair skin and nails but it also helps benefit for your bones and my bone ratio on my scale has gone from yellow meaning warning to green since I've been on that product. So that's good to know too. Um, let me see, if did I miss? Okay, then the other two products that are one of newer in the mix since the skin recipe because when I heard about the skin recipe as far as the topical products, 
Um, two of these supplements were also recommended for being an attribute for the skin. And once I was on them, I also saw and, and read that there was a lot more other benefits besides for your skin uh, when you take these products. Um, and there is uh, another HCG or other that is not happy um, that I talk about colostrum. So I'm, I apologize again. Um, it's just I've got to be real about what I take in case when people ask me, and this is what I take. Um, now, what I've read is, yes, we're not cows, but that uh, cow colostrum is uh, absorbed, uh, uh, can be absorbed by humans. So that's why it is okay. Like, that's why it works for us. Um, and I know bovine, I am, gosh, way years ago, I had actually a, a wound, like a, a incision actually that wasn't healing properly at all. And I went to a chiropractor type of doctor and he put me on a bovine supplement and that helped a lot with healing. So I guess because of that being bovine and then this colostrum thing, when I did hear and then read a bit about uh, the benefits of colostrum, that's where I my personal decision was that I'd be okay with taking colostrum and um, there's no harm to the animal at all that they're taking this from so and along with the secondary product I want to talk about okay so here's the colostrum and it also talks about a lot of great um, anti-aging um, properties in it as well so I take that two of them and then uh, antler velvet and I take that and they say that they the antler velvet, they don't like go running after uh, reindeer and start scraping off stuff off their antlers. They take it after the, the, <laughs> the, the animal has done it for themselves. They've scraped it off themselves because that's what they do. Um, so there's no harm to the animal on that either. So I take two of those, two of the antler velvet, two of the colostrum. Like I said, that was actually originally um, because of uh, what was recommended with the skin recipe. And so I take that. And then the uh, hair, skin, and nails, that's a tour as far as two tablets. Biotin is just one. The uh, Biosil, what, because of how it explains on the ingredients, I take actually um, 11 drops because they say five for something and then six for something else, and I think the six were for bones. So actually I just take a total of 11 drops in a little bit of uh, liquid with that one. And just as needed, that's the craving stuff and as needed for the craving stuff. And last but not least, I have not taken it yet. But um, I went ahead and I bought it again to be the lab rat because since so many of you are told you have to be on B12 when you start your HCG journey, and I was never on B12 during my HCG journey, I now, uh, since people ask me about it and I want to come from a position of strength as far as knowing my experience with it um, here is B12 and I will start taking that this uh, coming week and I will tell you if I think that there's a change in something with my system okay all right that that probably took way too long I'm sorry okay and um, and remember one of the GLA and one of the CLA Whoop, sorry CLA ah, okay all right so there you go that's what it is thank you so much I'm sorry this is long and um Bell says bye. Okay. Thanks, guys. See you later.